Hello, greetings to one and all. Welcome to our series, Jack's Curated Business Ideas. This is Jack Lukman, and today's topic is freelance domestic culinary coaching. Have you come across people who cannot cook? Those who rely on fast foods or restaurants for a lifetime. They spend a fortune on this and their finances may be highly impacted sooner or later. The demographics could include teenagers, bachelors, spinsters, undergraduates, adults, etc. Their parents may not have had, their had the time or means to teach them how to cook. The demographics may also not have been susceptible to learning during their early years. The costs of culinary schools may be very expensive. It may also be difficult to get a good school within reach. We live in a digital age where entrepreneurship could be married to digitalization. Now let's consider some points. Some individuals are good at cooking. They may be good at particular dishes. These dishes could be traditional or specialist. They may have their main jobs, but require a side hustle. They may seek the side hustle as a freelancer so that they are more in control of their time. What if there is a platform, one which advertises such people? The learners could come to their homes to learn how to cook. The relevant dishes would be advertised as necessary. The costing and location will be shared as necessary. Expectations will be duly managed by all parties. Legalities will also be managed. Reviews will be given by all concerned parties at the end of each session or sessions and all due processes perfected. <coughs> Excuse me. Money shall be collected via the online platform and remitted to the culinary coach as necessary, etc., etc. The relevant checks and balances need to be put in place all I's to be, to be dotted and T's to be crossed. Conflict management systems also need to be put in place, as well as adequate costing as necessary. Like everything else, there might be some challenges. The concerned personalities may not be compatible, the client may feel shortchanged, accidents may happen, either party might be late or absent, etc. The important thing is to manage possible eventualities. Systems and structures should be put in place to mitigate any challenges. This shall be updated as necessary. 
Now, who could benefit from this business model or business idea? Well, the IT personnel who will create or manage the IT platform, the entrepreneur, the marketer, the culinary coach, the client, maybe society at large, etc. What threats or challenges are there? The, this could affect the status quo. It could be a threat to restaurants, to fast food um, companies, to culinary schools, there could be conflict and litigation, etc. Also, please, no please note the processes. Here are some suggested processes. The platform is created and advertised. Culinary coaches shall advertise on the platform. Interested clients could pick a coach of choice. Appointments are made and kept. The desired choice of culinary skill is agreed. A learning timetable is agreed, or maybe the coaching timetable, maybe I should say. Reviews are given by both parties. That way, both the coaches and the clients are put in check. And then the process can be repeated for other clients, etc. Additional or other relevant processes may be put in place as well. The peak periods for learning could be during holidays. In line with this demand and supply principles, the prices may be slightly higher as the demand increases. Legalities shall be complied with. This could be regulations by governing bodies, health and safety regulations, etc. Please note that this is merely an idea to stimulate your thoughts. Greater value may be added to attain perfection. Please consider visiting our displayed platforms for, for, the, for more content. We have our website, jacksempowerment.com. We have another our blog, which is jack, jacklookman.co.uk. And we have Jalu Puzzles at jalu.com. If you got some value from this presentation, please consider liking, sharing, subscribing, and reposting. Thank you very much for your time. This is Ola Yinka Kiru, aka Jack Lukman, signing off. Ireo, Ire Kabiti.